Well, welcome to this week's video tidbit. Um, as promised, you're gonna get these every single week if you're on my email list, which is how you're getting this, or if you just found this on YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube videos and you'll be notified when new video tidbits are put up on my website. All right, here's a question for you. Uh, when do you determine, or how do you determine whether you should do a cooperative option or a sandwich lease option? Well, that's a really great question, and those are two really great techniques. If you haven't already read the article on my website the, to compare the difference between the two, go to wendypatton.com, go to my articles, and there's a cooperative versus sandwich lease option article in there that you should definitely read. Uh, cooperative options are when you get the option from the owner, and then you find a tenant buyer to buy the option from you, and you step out and you sell your option just like a wholesale deal where you sell that option that you've got from the seller to an end buyer and you walk away for a fee. A sandwich lease option is similar. You're going to find a seller that wants to do a lease option and you're going to find a buyer that wants to do a lease option but you stay in the middle and the meat is in the middle of the sandwich so that's where you're going to put yourself is in the middle of one of those transactions. So now how do you know when to do which one? Typically, cooperative options work really well when a seller doesn't have a lot of equity or you don't want to be involved in the long run. You just want to take your feet and be done with the deal. Cooperatives work really well for that. If the seller is upside down, I would not do a cooperative option. That is a short sell situation. Neither you nor the tenant buyer that you're going to put into that deal want to get involved in something that is in a bad situation. On a sandwich lease option, I call those my big money strategy. Sandwich lease options are awesome. You get the money up front like you do on a cooperative, but you also will get monthly cash flow and you get the difference between what you bought it for and what you sold it for, that meat in the middle of the deal. And that uh, can be very, very profitable as well. But the seller's got to have some equity for you to be able to make some money on a sandwich lease option. So don't do a sandwich lease option when the seller has no equity. There's nothing for you to get as a real estate investor. Hope that helped you with some of the main differences between the two types of options. See you next week.